Okay, so I said I was going to do a show about sunsets and how to improve on the look of a sunset picture. So I'm going to go into a little bit of technical stuff. Um, so your camera or your phone, if you get certain apps, has two basic file formats that it uses. Um, most people just use JPEG, high quality JPEG, um, and that's fine for a lot of things, but when it comes to sunsets, the, the problem is we have information here and information here. And a JPEG only allows us to recover a little bit of what's here, and that's an issue. So, you know, because because you have a great difference between light and dark, and whenever you have this distance, your camera actually has what's called dynamic range, which is how much of that it can capture. With a JPEG file, um, you, you can capture some of it. With a RAW file, you can capture a lot of it. And you can, what's called recover, these shadows, which is what we need to do. Because otherwise, a lot of the sunset pictures are going to be this bright sunset, and it's beautiful, and then darkness underneath it. And, um, you know, if that's, if that's the look you want, sometimes that is a look, but if it's not, you have to change up probably to using a raw file. So I don't know all the names of the apps on your phone, but there's definitely apps that have uh, raw files. And it's a much bigger file, and that's more information is what we need. So try to find an app. I think there used to be one called Camera Pro something. I'll try to look up a couple of decent ones and put them in the comments below or something um, so you can use those. On your camera, it's going to be much simpler. You're going to go right into the settings, and you'll find that it's going to give you options like small JPEG, medium JPEG, large JPEG, raw. There might be like a high-res JPEG or something, but get that camera in raw mode and start to experiment with pictures. And then when you bring them onto your computer, whatever you're using to process your images, whether it's the software from the company or Lightroom or something, you're gonna find that when you go to adjust things like highlights and shadows in raw files, you have way, way more information there that you can recover. And we can start to bring out some of the shadows in those photos uh, and even tone down the highlights of the sunset and we just get a much nicer picture. So we don't get dark light, we get uh, everything, we get information. So the downside <clears throat> of raw files, they're much larger, so we're gonna take up more hard drive room and we're going to have slower transfer rates, you're gonna need bigger memory cards, things like that, but it is a thousand percent worth it. I haven't shot in JPEG format maybe in four or five years. It just, the options are some of the information or a lot more of the information. And there's no situation that I can think of ever where you're gonna be like, oh, I wish I didn't have as much information in this picture. I wish I didn't have all these shadows or all these highlights. Um, it just makes sense. Find, <clears throat> if you're a phone photographer, find an app that lets you shoot in RAW. Take a couple pictures the old way and a couple pictures in that app in RAW of, of anything and just pull out the shadows, tone down the highlights and play around a little bit and you'll see so much more you can do with the raw image to make it look like what it look, looks like in your mind when you took the picture. Um, so <clears throat> that's some technical stuff of how to get your sunset better. Um, and that's how to get all your photos better. So it's kind of a general purpose thing. You should be shooting in raw. Whether it's on your phone, 100% of it's on your camera. So it means you have to buy a bigger memory card, buy a bigger memory card. They're not that expensive anymore. Um, it, it's worth it. So that's going to allow you to get better at those things. Now, some more things about a sunset. To separate yourself <clears throat> from the world of sunsets, because there's a billion pictures of sunsets. And... If you like taking pictures of sunsets, you should take a picture every night of the sunset and take as many pictures as you want and enjoy them. If you want to create an image of a sunset that is different than everybody else's, you have to put a little thought into it. And what we have to do, just like anything we take a picture of, is, is find a subject. So whether it's a sunset over the water and there's a boat out there, 
Um, I've been at Presque Isle and you're standing here on the beach and there's nothing. So you go find the um, um, lifeguard tower thing and just stick it in the left third of your image and put it in there. And now you have a sunset picture and you have a lifeguard tower. So it's, it's different. There's a subject, there's a lifeguard tower uh, and a sunset. So we have something. We don't just have a sunset. Um, <clears throat> if, if you're at a big farmer's field and the sun is setting behind, find a barn, find a tractor, find a cow, find something to put in that image so that you have an image of something and the sunset. Um, and like I said, take all the sunset pictures you want, but if you want them to be separate and, and tell a story and be better than a non-subject image, you, you got to find a subject. So challenge yourself when you see a beautiful sunset to stop for a second and be like, okay, that's amazing, but I, I need something else in that image. I need a cow, a tractor, a horse. Um, if somebody's with you, tell them to walk out in the field and turn their back towards you and do a silhouette of a person in the sunset, something. Just find a subject to make those images better and to separate your images from others. Um, but like I said, take all the sunset pictures you want. They're beautiful. Enjoy them, share them. Um, yeah. So I think that's going to be it. I have a couple more things I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to pop on later. Maybe do another video. I hope that helps you understand a little bit about how to separate your sunset pictures and how to recover more of the shadows um, by switching to the raw file format. If you have questions, message me. Um, please get in the group. I got to add a couple more admins so I can accept more people. Get in the group. We're going to start to use some of the things we're learning and experiment, you know, like today I would want all you to throw some sunset pictures in the group and we'll all look at them and we'll look and, and talk about them and learn from them. So hop in the group. It's going to be a friendly, nice, photography group where we all learn and help each other um and it could even be for local people some places you didn't even know existed that are great places to take pictures so join the group follow me on here like and share the video and uh follow me on instagram and youtube and uh, i'll be on a little bit later with another video thanks